My dad swears he's seen a UFO before. There's <laughs> definitely something out there. I definitely, definitely think so. You know, no doubt in my head. I was like so caught off guard by the fact that he totally believed he had seen this experience. Definitely a firm believer in extraterrestrial life, as you can tell by my shirt here. I think they work at 7-Eleven. Every time I go in there, it's spacey, man. It's kind of like getting bigger, and like, you know when you look at lights, how like there's like stuff coming off the light? There was none of that, it was solid. It was just a solid red, like, orb. You would see it, it would be light, and then it would go away, and then it would come up like somewhere else. And I felt a presence that was like hovering right above me, and I heard this like electronic whirring sound. Aliens, if they were here, come visit me. Don't abduct me. I'm not with that abduction shit. I wouldn't mind if they came to Earth. I'd be like, yo, dude, what's up? How's the, how's the universe? I think that they, in general, could be the same. Whether or not they take well to humans, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a very spiritual person, so I think it would be selfish or prudent to think that we're the only beings. We're so small, if you really think about it, we are so small compared to this universe. That's right. crazy. It's so crazy. I just believe that all things are possible and so are aliens. I think there's like other life out there, but I don't know if they're like aliens. This like shock went out through my body and I was unable to move initially when I was experiencing this whole thing. But then once that shock came through, I was, I was able to move again and I kind of was just like freaked out because I didn't know what happened. My thing is, why would we be so arrogant to think that God would just make us? Like, why wouldn't God make everyone? All of a sudden, it, it kind of just shoots higher in the air and then it just jolts to the right and then just started jolting, like making like perfectly, like on perfect plane levels too. Like it wasn't like it was chaotic the way it was moving. I think they're either imaginations or there's some kind of explanation for them. Then I like researched into it and it ends up just being like s stuff that happens like as you're falling asleep, like chemical imbalances and like your brain's awake but your body's like still asleep kind of a thing. Some other kind of aircraft that wasn't registered at the time or was doing something they maybe weren't supposed to do or just other, some kind of other nature. I start like running the other way and it kind of just comes closer and closer and then I'm behind the dune at this point. I could fully see it above me. It was just this full red orb. So like I'm like freaking out. Canada's already coming out about how they already know. So I think it's just a matter of time before everybody knows that it's more than just us. I think they'd be like, you know how we're like, plants are living organisms and so are we, but like, we can, yeah, we can't commute, you know, like that kind of thing. I think that's how it would be, just like another life form. I think anything is possible, really. Like, I agree with that. I think that if aliens were developed enough to um, come visit Earth, we'd know by now. Um, and I think we'd have much more knowledge of them, considering how advanced we are as a society. I know they're there, and they've been here before. They're probably still amongst us, because if it's in the water, like, they're just residing here, like, waiting for some kind of moment. So I'm, like, thinking, when's the next moment? Come in peace. We come in peace.